This video will show you how to calculate a required return for an income goal or a growth goal. An income goal means that you need a portfolio to provide a certain amount of income each year or other time period. To find the required return for an income goal, you just need to divide the income requirement by the portfolio value. In this example, we want to produce $30,000 in annual income from a $500,000 portfolio. We divide the $30,000 by the $500,000, and that gives us 6%. A 6% return on $500,000 is the $30,000 that we need. A growth goal means that we want to turn a deposit or series of deposits into a certain amount at a future time. Here we use the rate function in Excel. The rate function requires the number of time periods, such as years or months, that our investment will grow, the amount of each deposit or payment that we will make in each period, the amount we are starting with, if any, which would be called the present value, and the amount we wish to have in the future. In this first example, we want to find the rate of return required for annual payments of $2,400 to become $400,000 in 35 years. We use the rate function. We have 35 years, so 35 total payments. We are making $2,400 deposits. We are not starting with any balance or present value and we need $400,000 in the future. Note that Excel will need the future value to be negative. This has to do with the fact that you put in amounts each year, but now you have an amount to take out. This gives us the result 7.85%. In the second example, we have the same problem, except that we are going to make $200 payments monthly instead of $2,400 annually. We use equals rate, we have 35 years, so 35 times 12 total payments. We are making $200 deposits. We are not starting with any balance or present value. And we need $400,000 in the future. Also, since we are doing this problem in terms of months, Excel will give us a monthly return requirement, so we do need to multiply this result by 12. This gives us the result 7.44%. Note that we need a lower return than before because we're taking advantage of monthly compounding rather than waiting until the end of the year to make a single deposit. In the third example, we are not making periodic deposits, but we do have a starting value of $100,000, and we want to turn it into $400,000 in 35 years. We use equals rate. We have 35 years. We are not making periodic deposits. We are starting with a present value of 100,000, and we need 400,000 in the future. This shows that we need a 4.04% return to turn $100,000 into $400,000 in 35 years. As one final note, you can use the rate formula if you have both a starting value and periodic deposits. Enter the starting value as the present value part of the formula, and enter the amount of periodic deposits in the payment part of the formula.